All right, in this video, I'm gonna be quickly showing you Mistral AI, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running both locally. I'm gonna show you how you can play around with this on Hugging Face, and I'll also show you how to incorporate this into Langchain and point you to a resource where if you just want to get going and trying out this model without downloading anything at all, I'll show you that as well. So Mistral AI just came onto the scene. They raised a ton of money earlier this year, and they just came out last week with this Mistral 7B model. Now this model is particularly interesting because when you compare it to other models like Llama 2 70B and even Llama 2 13B, you can see on the bottom line here that it does perform better than even the 13B variant of Llama 2. So I'm not going to go into all of the different metrics here. I'll leave all the links in the description of the video if you want to dive into particular uh, pieces of it, but I'm just going to continue on to show you how to actually get set up with this. So what I'd encourage you to do is check out this new project called olama.ai. Now this is what I have found the easiest way to get going with setting up a model locally. It's as simple as it looks. You just download this, you install this, you run a simple command within your terminal, and then you can go ahead and choose which models you want to have downloaded. So you can check out the models that they have built in to their library here. So there's Llama 2, there's Code Llama, and most recently, they have the Mistral model here. So just go ahead, download this. It's not available quite yet for Windows, but you can download this for both uh, Mac or Linux right now to get started. So once you have it set up, you can go to the model that you want to use. So let's say you want to use Mistral. It gives you the example of how you can run this within your terminal. So say if you want to run and query within your terminal directly, you can just go ahead and run their instruct model or their text completion model by simply typing this within your terminal and then you're right within it and you can interact with it as if it's like a chat GPT. So the other option which is great. So out of the box, so you see within the top right hand corner here, so there's the Olama icon here. So if you have that running in the background, you can actually make requests to this. So it is an inference server set up out of the box. And what's nice about this is as you install different models, so say you have Mistral or say you have Llama 70B, you can query uh, different models at different points. So say if you have a local application and you want to query Llama for something, and then you want to query Mistral for something else, you can simply swap out the model and assuming you have them installed, you'll be able to prompt them on the fly like that. So I'll also show you, so this is all on Hugging Face as well. So you can also play around with the text generation right within their hosted inference API here. And then also I'll be showing you how to get started with Langchain. So Langchain is probably what I'd encourage you if you're a Python or Node.js developer to use for setting this up because it makes it super simple and you're within the ecosystem where there's a whole lot of other tools that you can leverage. And then finally, the uh, other resource that I wanted to point you to is labs.perplexity.ai where you can try out uh, Mistral 7B Instruct. You can also try out uh, the Llama models as well as some others. And the nice thing with Perplexity Labs is their implementations are often very fast. So if I can say, can you demo this for me for a video, write a few paragraphs. let's say right about a llama and you see that it is pretty quick um, in how quick it generates so last i want to just show you how to set this up i'll also spin up a quick github repo where i'll just put these uh, small little bits of code where you can reach for this if you're looking to implement this in some node.js projects so all i have installed here within my directory for this file here i'm going to be showing you a langchain demo and a fetch demo so with langchain i just have the core uh, Langchain uh, library installed. And then from there to actually specify the model that you want to use, you can just, similar to the curl request, uh, make a request to that base URL and then specify the model that you want to use here. So if I just demo it here and I just say 
node. Actually, I'll use bun so I don't have to use a compiler here. I'll just say langchain demo. So in this example, we're actually waiting for the chunks to complete. And then once that is complete, it's going to log it out. But actually, I'll show you a way which some people might be interested in if you want to actually leverage the chunk of what it responds with, you can see that you can get the streaming response as well. So the other thing to note is, so I'm using an Intel-based uh, Mac. I have 16 gigs of RAM, so I'm not using a new M2 Mac or M1 Mac or any of that. So uh, you can leverage this on systems that are a couple years old, um, but just know if you have a newer computer, obviously these things will likely perform better. So last, I just wanna show you, if you want to use this without any dependencies, here's just a way that you can do this with a simple fetch request in Node. So if I just go ahead and run this, a similar bun fetch, you can see that I have it set up to go ahead and log out the streaming responses here. So you can see it's breaking token by token. And that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also consider becoming a Patreon subscriber as well. And otherwise, until the next one.